What do you need to know about Lake Highlands? Is it a city? Is it a town? Is it a neighborhood? It's worth getting to know. We'll get into it. Hey folks, Todd Tremonti here with another video on one of the top reasons to move to the Dallas area, to, to relocate to or to move within the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Um, and one of our favorite areas in Dallas is an area called Lake Highlands. Now, it is still the city of Dallas, but it's fairly well defined as Lake Highlands. Now, there's a little bit of discrepancy and I won't say argument, but difference of opinions around exactly what area qualifies as Lake Highlands. But generally speaking, we're talking about an area north of Lake Highlands inside sort of the 635 loop and probably... Uh, bordered on the east side by uh, Plano Road and uh, on the west side by uh, Greenville Avenue-ish. You know, again, depending on who you're talking to, that might bleed out a little south of Northwest Highway or a little further east or west. Very few people would really go north of 635 or LBJ there. But one of the really, or a lot of the really attractive things about the Lake Highlands area is you've got the city of Dallas, Richardson Independent School District, right by White Rock Lake, uh, and very, very close commute into downtown Dallas, as well as kind of on the outer edge of that inner loop with access out to some of the, the amazing resources and entertainment and things and, and, and the suburban end of things. So Lake Highlands has been a very well-known, very highly sought-after community for a long, long time, but it's experienced some transition over the last 10 years or so, um, where in an area that was already highly desirable with pretty good sized lots and nice size homes, we've seen quite a bit of, of extensive remodeling and tear down rebuilds happening again in an area that was already really desirable. So um, it's a great location, great school district, you know, within the city. So it's kind of best of both worlds for a lot of people as far as city services and a great school district. Um, again, you know, location to parks. Uh, restaurants. There's been significant development in Lake Highlands as far as um, uh, you know, parks and recreation and new restaurants and retail. Um, there's been sort of the demolition and teardown of some older multifamily, and it's been replaced by some high-end multifamily as well as you know, new retail, gyms, grocery stores, restaurants, those kinds of things. Hey folks, thanks for checking out our videos. Make sure you like and subscribe and we'll keep making great educational videos for you. I get to work with an incredible team of people who live and work in these areas we're shooting videos on. If we could ever earn your business when you buy and sell or invest in real estate, or if you just need a quick tip, let us know. Our information's below. We'll get back to the video. And again, with just phenomenal proximity to other really key parts of the, of, of the town, like Lakewood, uh, the lower Greenville area, uh, very near downtown. Uh, White Rock Lake being a huge draw. White, White Rock Lake is kind of a motor-free lake, so there's not ski boats or anything out there. It's more of a sailboat, kayak, paddle boat type area with a very popular hike and bike and exercise trail around the lake that's a, a huge draw to the area. A lot of the... Uh, Southern parts of Lake Highlands and White Rock Lake area were sort of originally developed as out of town lake homes for in town Dallas families. And this is, you know, 100 years ago, um, maybe not quite, uh, but a great area. Yeah, again, very highly sought after, um, heavily family oriented area. Lake Highlands High School has a tremendous amount of support um, for sports and school activities and things like that, as well as. Um, some incredible youth ministry organizations in the area as well. So great place, highly sought after, absolutely worthy of your consideration. If relocating to the area and wanting to be in in-town Dallas, it's a great option. Certainly relocating within the DFW area, Lake Highlands is deserving of a look as well. Uh, home values have shot up pretty significantly in the area. You're, you're looking at probably an entry point for most folks have about 300. And there's some unique pockets of older, more customized stuff. Not a whole lot of new construction because very little land available, but a couple of backfill areas where there's been some teardown, rebuilds, townhome communities, some single, you know, literally single home residential pop-ups uh, for, for teardown properties or, or, or you know, occasional uh, lots that have become available for random reasons. So check out Lake Highlands. Check out the rest of our series on relocating to the Dallas-Fort Worth area or relocating within the area and a bunch of our videos on some of our favorite reasons to live in different communities in and around Dallas, Fort Worth. So check those out on the channel. Like, subscribe. Of course, if we can ever earn your business when it comes time to buy or sell a home, 
Our information is below. We'd love to get you introduced to one of our really great team members and take great care of you. So have a great day. Thanks for checking it out, and I'll talk to you on the next one.